position. And uh, Connie Huck telling us a little bit earlier on that she thought the security perhaps wasn't as tight as it could have been then, but they weren't expecting this sort of incident to happen so earlier on. This is what she said to us a short time ago. It was really good, loads of people supporting. There was a bit of a skirmish um, with a protester, but the flames stayed alight. And obviously you knew to do was a kind of controversial um, torch handing over, um, really. Yeah. Did you expect that to happen? I think I expected there to be protesters because, I mean, I think that was taken as given. Um, I wasn't expecting to be wrestled, but I guess people feel very, very strongly about China and their human rights record. And, you know, we're lucky we're in a nation where people are allowed to voice their opinion. But you, you managed the run though, you didn't uh, collapse in a heap. No, <laughs> I, I nearly lost my footing in the skirmish, but no, I managed to keep going. And were you aware of what was going on at the time, you, or were you just sort of concentrating on running? I was aware when someone lurched towards me and sort of tried to grab it, and then I was like grabbing on. But, um, you know, I guess I'm sure there might, well, there could be other incidents along the way. I was quite early on in the day, so, you know, but lucky that people can have an opinion here. Yeah, and were you two were kind of divided, I believe, on whether to do this or not? Well, point? I always maintain that I'm doing it, but I do not condone China and China's actions in any way. And I think it's really important to be able to voice your opinions. And this is a great platform for people to speak out. So grabbing the torch off you is perhaps not the best way? Well, maybe in his opinion, the guy that did it, it is each to their own.